Hi, this is Gimfiend, and uh, we're going to do a tutorial on doing a Polaroid-style <coughs> photo. I've seen I've seen a few tutorials on this, and uh, quite often I, they've got the sizes wrong. Uh, so I just happened to have one, so I got a ruler out and measured it. And so this is how it's done. Okay, so we go to File, New and change the dimensions to inches and the image is going to be 3.5 by 4.5 like that okay now we're going to go to layer, transparency and add an alpha channel, channel to it and now we're going to select go to the select dialog and ok, we, how are we going to do this? we're going to set that to a quarter of an inch so, and so we need to change these here to inches and this here to inches the size of the image is 3 inches by 3.125 and the position is a quarter of an inch we work out to be 0.25 and now we can just press delete which didn't work uh, there we go now I would you can just save that as Polaroid frame and then you can just use it with some uh, with images to to make create an effect uh, I'll just quickly do one now so if I open a images and layer and I've got one here and just move up your frame up here uh, I've noticed that it's better to get photos where the subject is just back a little bit you know so anything close is not really good and just sort of move it to position it and I'll put some text in here this is uh, Twiz and pips. This font, by the way, I got uh, from darfonts.com and it's called Twin Marker. So I've just set the size there, Twin Marker. Okay. And we'll just rotate that round a little bit. Okay, so that. merge visible layers down and you've got the Polaroid effect uh, this is Gimfiend thank you for watching